from comic book heroes like Superman and Wonder Woman to the alien E.T. Flying, one of the most enduring dreams of mankind, has been immortalized in film. But for one British man, those dreams have become a reality. Meet the real-life Iron Man, UK inventor Richard Browning. This former Royal Marine is the inventor of the gravity suit. Powered by six jet engines with over a thousand horsepower, Browning has taken the dream to fly to new heights. Literally, he's broken the Guinness World Record for fastest flight in a jet suit. With speeds topping at 32 miles per hour. One day you woke up and thought, this is boring, I want to make a jetpack. Not exactly in that way, no. So I suppose throughout my life, especially as a kid, I used to enjoy making things, taking things apart, working with my father in his workshop. I suppose I've always been quite technically minded and in at least my, my day job career. Browning says inventing is in his blood. And just like Marvel's superhero Tony Stark, he's had his trials and failures. I love the clips of where he is, uh, he is learning. He's built it and he's in his garage, crashing around trying to learn the balance. <laughs> You know, 90% of things we tried didn't work, and when they didn't work, often that meant I would then fall over, only a few feet off, you know, off, the, off the ground or whatever. But learning from failure has been the fuel that's driven our journey. Browning was impressed with how the physics of flight seems so true to life in the movie. But in terms of the balance and control, it's hugely similar, and you can see from our, our learning and you know testing clips that, that actually, and as I say, Full credit to Marvel for coming up with and imagining what it would be like to have that thrust coming off the body. Have you met him, Robert Downey Jr.? No, no. Um, we've had a lot of social media kind of link us and uh, you know uh, in that way, but no. You need to get him to come down and try on your suit. Well, apparently, I hear that he kind of it's in his contract now. He refuses to put on the uh, the the Marvel Iron Man suit because it's so awfully uncomfortable. So you're probably good to judge. I don't know how. I, Robert, if you're watching, <laughs> this is really comfortable. You're going to want to try it on. So tell me the journey in development. How did you get here? I suppose our grand zero point was standing in a lane, one small gas turbine mounted on my arm. We had a mop bucket as a fuel tank. It was all pretty rudimentary, and we ran this thing up. Before long, he was experimenting with multiple engines and seeing results. We went from two engines then to four, and I really am now starting to jump around like I'm on the moon. You can see that's now a huge amount of thrust, and it's still not quite enough to get me and the equipment off the ground, but it's close. Now, the sky really is the limit. As high as a plane needs to go. Oh, as high as you like. I mean, I suppose after a while you'll become limited by, by the temperature the human body is going to be comfortable You'll pass at. out, but it'll keep going. Oh, completely, yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely. Well, don't, don't go too high. No, no, we won't do that. And, and it's, it's really, I suppose, limited by can we transition to a point where a parachute would safely save you? That, that's, that's a you know, critical point that we need to solve. Should I be concerned that there's a skull and crossbones there? That's <laughs> I got a chance to fire it up. And see if you can crush your arm into there. Although taking off is too dangerous for anyone not properly trained. He says his suit even caught the attention of the military. The military are very excited about this. We've got some military collaboration going on. We've got um, search and rescue collaboration going on as well. Uh, and it has occurred to me that, that in this day and age, if you need to get rapid response, I think we can do this faster and more nimbly than a helicopter can. The goal, he says, make flying a reality for more people. That feeling when you did start to lift off and dis you know, disengaged from the ground and you weren't coming back unless you, you know, flared your arms out. That was phenomenal. But one of these will cost you. We've already had our first client, if you like, uh, pay a significant amount of money to come over and have their own custom flight suit built. The latest version now that, I, that we're running, and there's, a, there's an example of it in the back here, which runs a much better setup. That's $450,000. Sky high costs aside, for Browning, the possibilities are endless. I've become a huge believer in the creativity that you see behind science fiction because it is an example of unbounded human creativity where you don't care about whether you can really build it, you just imagine. It's fantastic. For Nightline, I'm James Longman in London. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.